Well, all new tonight at 9, SpaceX founder Elon Musk, he wants to build Hyperloop systems to take people and cargo in pods at super speeds. Buckle up, folks, for this next piece of video we're about to show you tonight. SpaceX has hosted a Hyperloop competition, and a team from Arizona scored high on this. 3TV's Jared Dillingham going to take us on a pretty cool ride tonight. Yeah, brace yourself, because here yeah. we go. Ready? This is some video of the winning team from Germany of their pod in the Hyperloop here going down this mile-long tunnel. The ASU team says their pod would have even gone faster, could have won the whole thing, but in an odd, very discouraging twist, the competition ran out of time. The ASU team didn't even get to race in the Hyperloop. The AZ Loop team walked proudly to the Hyperloop competition at the SpaceX facility in California with the pod they built from scratch. It is ready to go in that tube. But after hearing from founder Elon Musk, only three teams got to send their pods through the mile-long test loop. They ran out of time to test ASU's pod. I'm not happy about that. I consider it major disrespect and inexcusable. Obviously, I'm disappointed we didn't get to run in the tube. Uh, we were very, very excited and we're very confident that our that our pod would have performed exceptionally. They were aiming for 300 miles an hour. I think we would have definitely won the competition. I'm pretty confident. We had done the most, put the most effort towards actually having a very aerodynamically slippery shape. Had we been put in the track, we would have been hands down the fastest pod there. Still, the disappointment in this group is outweighed by pride. Yeah, we wanted to win. Yeah, we wanted to run. Uh, but more than that, we wanted to learn and grow as engineers. I feel accomplished because I've grown on a personal note a lot. And the dream of one day riding in a Hyperloop will keep them in the competition next year. Mainly because I like to travel at high speeds. That is just a thrilling experience which I love and I wouldn't give up on it. Yeah, it makes no sense to me saying that they just ran out of time for this. These students are such good sports, so you have to give them credit for their engineering accomplishments and also their attitudes. They go back to work next month on a pod to race in next year's Hyperloop competition. Jared Dillingham, 3TV.